The American Academy of Optometry is an organization of optometrists and PhD vision scientists and optometry students. Um, we are worldwide, we represent more than 40 countries. Uh, we hold our annual meetings in cities that are grown up cities. Um, obviously we need great convention facilities, we need great hotels with an easy walking distance. Um, but we also like to be in cities with other things to do, with culture and with great restaurants. Um, and New Orleans is just a super fit for us, we're delighted to be able to be here. Uh, last year uh, at Academy 2014 Denver, we hit an all-time high of 6,323 registrants. And at that time I said, we're going to be 7,500 when we get to New Orleans. Um, we are just under 7,500 attendees right now. And that includes about 4,400 optometrists. So this is by far the largest meeting of optometrists in the world to date. Uh, so we are thrilled with the attendance numbers and certainly part of that growth and that, that represents somewhere around a 17 or 18 percent increase over last year. Um, certainly we like to think that part of that is because of things that we're doing but a big part of it is because we're in, the, in New Orleans. It's, the city is a great draw. Um, I've heard from a lot of attendees that they were delighted to be able to come back to, to New Orleans and they haven't been here since Katrina and they're just so happy. The other piece is that's so unusual for us is that for the most part our attendees don't come in early to the meeting and stay late. They come for the education and then they, they leave and they, 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 it's very important to them to be in a great city. Many, many people came in a few days early and of course staying late so that they could see the city. We're just, we're also happy to be able to come back to New Orleans. So we were supposed to be in New Orleans for our annual meeting in 2006 and in fact we were, <coughs> excuse me, we were scheduled to be in the city for a planning meeting in 2005, the day the levees broke. So obviously we had to cancel that upcoming annual meeting and move it, um, but we were committed to coming back and I'm just so delighted that we were able to do it.